Next, I'd like to talk about the different sections in the Crystal Report. When you make a new report, uh, it always comes with these five sections. Now, later on, we're going to find that there's uh, ways to add additional sections, but these five sections come with every single report. So let's describe what they are. When you put different objects into these sections, it's going to change the appearance of the report. So it's important to know about these. The report header only prints on the first page of the report. So maybe that's where you put introductory information, or maybe that's where you put your title page. There's going to be another video that's called the Section Expert. Uh, so you want to watch that. Uh, it'll show you how to, or watch those several videos. It'll talk about how to make a title page and uh, manage some of these sections. The page header prints at the top of each page. So maybe that's where you're going to put your um, the, the page number or the date or your column headings. Think about the top of each page. That's going to be in the page header section. The detail section is really the body of the report. Most of your information lines will be on the detail section. The detail section is going to print one time for every record in your table. So if you have 500 records in your table, the detail section will print 500 times over multiple pages. So that really is the body of the report. The report footer will show up on the last page of the report. This is where you're going to put uh, your grand totals or any kind of summary information. I right, think about the last page of the report, that'll be the report footer section. The page footer shows up on the bottom of every page. So maybe that's where you put your page number, or the date, or the word copyright, things like that. So these sections can be important for you. Let's see some real life examples of how to use them. I'm going to go over to this report that's called orders. I'm just going to click on that. Okay, so here we are on page two. Uh, let's go back to page one. Now notice on page one, I, I do have the report header section. Now I don't have anything in my report header, but right now the report header section does appear on page one, even though there's nothing in it right now. But uh, it still allows room for that. Notice then I have the page header. The page header is going to print at the top of every page. So in this case I have uh, the date, the company name, the column headings, those are the kind of things you want at the top of each page. If I go to my next page using the navigation toolbar, then notice how each page has that same page header. It's going to appear at the top of each page. Now this particular report has subtotals. If I scroll over a little bit, we see subtotals. Now. Um, it, there, there's going to be another video about how to add subtotals, but when you add subtotals, you need a group. And when you have a group, you're going to have a group header and a group footer. So that's why this particular report has additional sections. But notice all of these Ds over here. These are all detail lines. So like I said, the detail line, the detail section is going to print for each uh, record that you have in your table. So that's why you have so many Ds here. If I go to the next couple pages, you'll see more and more Ds. Uh, it's going to print one of those for each different uh, record in your table. Let's go to the bottom of the report. Then we have the page number, and if I scroll over, we also have the date. So this is on the bottom of the page. The bottom of the page is called the page footer. Notice if I go to the next page, notice that the page footer is still there. And notice that when I click, it'll show you a different page number, but of course that's on the bottom of each page, that's called the page footer section. Now let's uh, go all the way to the last page. The last page also has the page number on the page footer. I'm going to scroll up. The last page also has the page header. And then if you notice, we also have the report footer. The report footer only shows up on the last page. And typically, we're going to have our uh, grand totals in the report footer. So that's really a good use of the sections. So let's just review those really quickly. Let me go back to page one. The report header only shows up on page one. The page header shows up on the top of every page. You have a group header and a group footer uh, when you have a group. That doesn't happen for every report, but when you have a group, uh, those should be there. The Ds, or the detail lines, are going to print one time for each record in your table. The page footer appears on the bottom of each page. Let's go to the last page. 
then we're going to have a section that's called the report footer. The report footer only shows up on the last page, and that's typically where you would see your grand totals uh, if you have them. So that gives you a good introduction into your sections for Crystal Report.